Hi guys, I'm Delaney here from Warm Glass Gallery and Studios. And today we are going to experiment by putting leaves in the kiln. First, I need my helper. Come on in. Alright. <laughs> okay. So what do we have here? Um leaves. What are we gonna do with and these leaves? Are they tasty? Are going, and we are going to put them in the kiln. Okay, so what do you need to put on the shelf? to make sure that we don't have glass or anything sticking to the shelf. Thin fire paper. All right, so put some thin fire paper under this leaf right here. Okay, so what we wanna do now is we wanna take that leaf and we wanna put it between two pieces of glass. Like a sandwich. Like a sandwich. So here we happen to have two pieces of glass. So I'll pick the leaf up. You put one down. We're gonna put the leaf in the middle. Does that look good to you? All right, put that down. Okay, so now we have one leaf sandwiched in between the glass. Okay. All right, we've got another leaf. All right, this leaf, we're going to use a product called mica. Now, mica is a ground up rock that's real sparkly and shiny. <laughs> and what we're going to do is we're going to have you brush some mica onto a leaf. And we're okay. going to put it in the middle just like we did the first one. Okay. So get your leaf and put it right here on the paper. Okay, so then I'm going to get the mica out. Now, mica is not harmful at all, so it's okay. You could even eat it if you really wanted to. I wouldn't. All right, so now we're going to put the mica, and you take the brush and brush it all over the leaf. Even on the stem? Everywhere, all over the leaf. Even Start with on the, the leaf. Stem? Yep. Start with the leaf and just brush and brush and brush. Ooh, brush this everything. is going to be a gold leaf. Uh huh. Now, can you like use silver mica? You could use any color mica you wanted to. So maybe we'll do one with gold and one with silver. Hmm, cool. Okay. So go ahead. And while you're doing that, I'll go get some silver mica. Okay. I'm almost done. Okay, so now we have to do our mica, and it has to be in between just like we did the first leaf. Okay. So what do we need on the shelf? Thin fire paper. Okay. All right, and so now pick the leaf up very carefully and put it right in between these two pieces of glass. So let's put this one on right there. Are we going to leave the stem out? Yep, stem you can leave the stem out. Sometimes the stem helps air get out. So you don't have as big a bubble. Okay. Okay. Now, you wanted to do a silver leaf too. So I have gotten super sparkle mica. Okay, so it's silver and sparkly. You can I, see some of the sparkle I know on the you like sparkly things. Okay. So we have a new brush because we don't want to get our leaf. And I need a new leaf. I'm going to choose this one. Okay, that's the one you want to do. Okay. See how sparkly that mica looks. Mm -hmm. All right, brush it out real good. This is my favorite. Do you need a little more or do you have enough? No, this is enough. Almost done. Okay. Okay, so this one we're going to put on the bottom beneath the two pieces of glass instead of in the middle. Hmm. That'd be cool. Okay, but if we're going to do that, we can't have thin fire paper on the bottom. How come? What happens when thin fire paper fires? Um, it burns up and it becomes a powder right yeah we don't want that powder mixing with our mica so instead we're going to use a piece of fiber paper on the shelf and now just put our leaf right in the middle of that fiber paper be careful you don't have to knock the mic off and put a piece of glass
And one more piece of glass. Put two pieces of glass. So we have one last leaf and we are going to be putting powders on it and we're going to be doing fall colors. Okay, so, so how do we do the powders? We need to wear a mask, uh -huh. a certain type of mask, and there's not one that will fit me so I'm going to let our guests do it. Okay, so I'm using what's called an N95 mask and it helps protect you from a lot of the potentially hazardous particles from the powder. So I'm going to put the mask on. And I'm going to step back. All right. So now we have the leaf. And we're going to start with a little bit of green on the base. So I have some green. My sifter, and I'm going to do a layer of green. That look good? Now we're gonna do some yellow. A little bit of yellow. Not as much. And I'm gonna go up a little higher so that I just get some yellow dashing around here and there. See? And then finally little bit of red. And I'm gonna just do some red here and there. All right. So now come look, Delaney. So what do we need on the shelf? We need fiber paper. All right, put it on the shelf. And I'm going to pick the leaf up very carefully because we don't want to have a disaster here. It. Put it right in the middle of the fiber paper. And you put the glass on. Okay, put this one on. And this one on top. Perfect. Okay, so now we've got our regular leaf in between two. We've got a leaf with mica in the middle. We've got mica on the bottom. Here we use the silver mica on the bottom with two pieces of glass on top. And we have our powder on the bottom with, with glass on top. Two pieces of glass yep. on top. So now they're ready to go in the kiln. No, they're not. What about this little fern over here? Okay, I guess we can do a fern, but I'm going to have to put them in another kiln. Because this kiln shelf's full. Okay. All right. Can we do powders with it? Okay. And how would you like to do the powders? I want to do it like a rainbow. Oh, so like one color and then another color? How okay. Like stripes. What color do you want me to start with? Red, red. And then yellow and then green. Okay. So let's start with red. Let me put my mask on. So stand back. Okay, does that look good? Yep, I like it. All right, it's ready for the kiln. Okay. Now that we have finished with the leaves, we have a little surprise guest that goes in the kiln. It's not me, it's the cricket and feather. The cricket was not murdered in the making of this video. We put a little powder on our feather and then we sandwiched it with the two pieces of glass. Here's a tip. Squirt a little bit of hairspray or water on your feather to make the powder stick. Now we need to do the cricket. Oh, you're not going to do the cricket? No. Oh. Well, do you want him belly up or belly down? Um, um anyway, just put him in there. He's very How's fragile. That? Perfect. And we're going to sandwich him. All right. A little cricket graveyard. Careful. Okay. <laughs> we are going to put our leaves 
our cricket and our feather into the kiln. See you tomorrow. Bye. So we have all the leaves out of the kiln, including the cricket and feather. And I cannot wait to talk about them. Okay, let's start with the one that's just the leaf. Remember we put the leaf in between two layers of glass. What happened? It looks like it became gray, like we put mica over it, but we didn't. That and looks like it... There's a big what? Bubble. Yes, why did it get a bubble, do you think? Maybe because of it still had a little bit of nutrients in it, and the nutrients made well, it you're close. It had moisture in it. So the leaf had moisture and that caused the big bubble to form and the grayness is the ashes that are left over from the leaf. Wow. Okay. Now, here's the one that we did with the mica in between. And it has the same big bubble. <laughs> but you can see the color of the mica here and there and the leaf, the little ash. But it, it didn't work out very well either, did it? No. Now, here, now the, silver one. the silver mica that we did on the bottom, oh, look, you look can at see that. some of the mica left over, and look how pretty the leaf is. It looks like the leaf just fell to ash, yes. but there was just... The mica stuck to the glass. See if we look on the back, and you can oh, see where really there's a leaf. little bit of leaf ashes we can rub off, and now we just have the mica left. <laughs> that turned out pretty good. That's pretty. All right, like now... The one that I sifted powder on, let's look at it. So if you look here, you can see all like... the colors of the powder. We'll go over to the back. Oh. That's some fiber paper. Let me get a little water. We'll take the fiber paper water off. Water helps take the fiber, fiber paper off. Uh-huh. Okay. So we're going to take all this off. Let me get a little more water. All right. Now we can see the colors there. It looks like the leaf... Didn't even. And the leaf is gone, all the ashes from the oh, leaf. But if we look, all the powder is in the shape of the leaf. Just like that. Just like, like it's that. A print. Only, yes, so that works out really well. Now we still have a little bit of stem over here from that. And yep. whenever you can see as you touch it, it just like. Mm -hmm. That is was sticking gone. out. So what happened to the cricket? It became a big air bubble. Pick it up. So you have and a you can big see, it bubble. looks like those are its little legs, and then those must be the moisture and all the nutrients and stuff, and like yeah. all the food That's that the right. cricket That's right, the moisture ate. in the cricket caused that big, big bubble. Notice also, we put the cricket in between two pieces of glass, and because the glass was so, the cricket was so big, the glass slid over here. Yeah. So this one's real funny shaped. That's Because right. of the glass sliding, because the cricket was... That. The feather looks like it just disappeared like one of the leaves yes. and all you see left is the powder. If we didn't put the powder on, then it would have just been a pure cleese, um Almost nothing. No. Yep. Yeah, nothing. And the last one, the one that Delaney liked. <laughs> all right. Look at that. That came out pretty good. We need to Perfect. clean it off just like we cleaned the other. So let's get a little oh, water here. Oh, look, you here. can kind of see the prints if and you're looking closely. And we'll clean all that fiber paper off. Okay, sometimes you do this underwater so it's even better. But we're mm -hmm. just do it right here with a little water so we don't That's get cool. the fiber particles up in the air. That one's my favorite. Okay. <laughs> and we have all that beautiful fern right there. I like it. All right. So what did you learn? Um, I learned that moisture must make a big bubble in the so yeah. how do you, what do you do if you put the leaf in between or the cricket? What happens? Then it might make a big bubble if you yes. if it has moisture. With so it if still. you want to help with that, what do you do? <clears throat> well, how know. do you solve the problem? How did we solve it here and here and here? We put it, the leaf on the oh, bottom, yes. so the moisture could escape through the fiber paper. And we were left with the residue of the mica or the powder to make our leaves. Mm -hmm. So here's one I did earlier. And you can see how nice that one looks. And it's all cleaned up. So you have a nice leaf that looks and really pretty. And you can pretty. still see a little bit of like it's where um, the, veins where the veins and everything were. from the leaf. Yep. That's cool. All right. So next time we have a cricket, we have to put him on the bottom.
to see what happens. <laughs> Hope you liked the video and learned about putting things in the kiln. Don't forget to subscribe.